Hi everybody, and these are my last words from 2017. So first of all, I do wish everybody a really prosperous and gorgeous 2018. And I hope you guys are going to have great holidays. I know we put so much time and effort in it and we hope for the best. And let's let it be. Let's this year enjoy everything. This was the year of planting, year number one. And we are entering the year number two where we are actually being called to stand up and be counted and it's going to be a very interesting year a year where people who will be doing their work will be highly rewarded and the people who won't do their work they'll be asked to do that again and you'll have to literally repeat this class so hence there is a huge incentive my readings in 2018 will be guiding you through it each time i would quote unquote give you a homework I'll say this is where you have to head this time and don't be hard on yourself even if you don't get it each and every time there's always a second and third opportunity hey not everybody is like I mean born smart and we all can use this maybe even additional kind of um, learning of the lesson also I want to thank everybody who ordered uh, annual telescope and if you haven't received it for any reason we are going through this Mercury retrograde. Please just send me an email, mysticcatchtarot at gmail.com. You can see it below in the description so I can send it to you right away. For those of you who didn't order, let me just give you a little bit scope about that because I do highly recommend to get it because it does give you this homework, it does give you overview and gives you a clear understanding to where you can really prosper in the next year. So let's start on that one. Okie dokie, all annual telescopes are now done. Believe it or not, that was a great effort. And each of them is anywhere between one hour and 45 minutes and some of them are even going to two hours. The first segment is kind of collectively about the year we are going into 2018. That's some good 45 minutes. And after that, you can check your own sign and everything is going on. So, this is right now every individual one is like $29.95 and collectively to get them all is $59.95. So guys, feel free to go and check this link below or the link on the screen and go and order your telescope. You can get it within 24 hours and sometimes even faster. So to everybody who ordered, thank you so much. And I really hope you're going to enjoy and even order additional one. Hi Gemini and welcome to your December 16th to 31st um, telescopes. So our last date for this year. So let's see what I see here. First of all, let me introduce you to cards. You have six of wands, ten of pentacles, knight of cups, six of swords reversed, <coughs> Seven of Swords, the Strength reversed, six, seven, eight, two of Wands reversed, two of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles reversed. Lots of things happening, guys. Lots. <coughs> so we have two sixes. We have two twos. <coughs> so sixes are definitely talking about some special connection with someone. However, it seems like to me you're going back to something that was not necessarily good, but you're actually trying to explore something. And that kind of like was the entry point to this period. It was something um, action oriented thing that is kind of like really occupying your thoughts. What really worries me is like this. Let me just try to block this light so you can see these cards better. The Seven of Swords. That is right in the center of that. And this is that card that to me says somebody's taking something away while you're sleeping at the switch. 
and it, it's just like simple maybe you don't care maybe you kind of like are kind of giving up or maybe you're going to be shocked when you wake up seven of swords definitely talking about sneaky behavior you could talk about somebody trying to get what is there as well they can so you can can have this duality so what is this basically happening here is that maybe you did return somewhere to kind of discuss something that kind of bothered you maybe there was engagement with someone or engagement not necessarily just an engagement but sort of like involvement with someone where things kind of like just didn't get off ground somebody you really want to because it tells me you guys really want to marry you kind of like want with someone to have this love connection look at this pretty little paw showing over here and it's saying it's in the stars it's karma it's this romance under the moon right eye to eye kind of a thing and <clears throat> it is with this kind of like family vision to boot so it is like not just let's sing this poetry to each other in the moonlight but it is like look I actually really want to work really hard to get there to everything it could be that was wishful thinking though guys because almost like you wanted to make something happen but something got cut right in here because this card comes when things are not sort of like fully connecting for some reason right you need to kind of resolve out of the situation to kind of like really figure out which way to go and swords on the higher level of swords seven eight nine and ten are not fun swords so going further on this path is not extremely let's say enticing and we see it here so even though you're going to eight going to the strength this is a non-committal card i don't know are you guys dating somebody who is giving off this very romantic energy yes i am this you know singing songs to you but they're really not committing or maybe you're getting to the point of realizing hmm you're just like singing the songs and like on old time hits just what you like and what about me because this is my wife card the couple it is not not the couple maybe it's going to be realization that this is all kind of like very phew, empty kind of like poof kind of energy right you kind of are together but it's not kind of gelling and it's kind of like really weird because i can really see that you have this intention to move this kind of like further up so it's going to be a whole bunch of cards that i really want to clarify here gemini and just like see what happens here okay the major arcana that you have here of course is the most important but now i see major arcana arcana means secret arcana also means knowledge so secret knowledge and this one is like lesson each time you see major arcana it's homework so if somebody like this shows up it's asking you to kind of really decide if this is really the soulmate you want to fight for. Do you really want to deal with somebody who is actually against you from the get-go? If somebody doesn't want to commit to you, it is against you. Or if you cannot commit, you will be against somebody else. It's kind of like, make your choice. Because I, I, I can see that you actually want to. So let me see this one first. Let me see this card here of course why is this here and why was this going back to something and then of course let's see what's hiding behind these doors so going back to something was huh it could have been a third party ladies and gentlemen third party somebody who maybe put a pause or something that is yours thief generally talks about loss it talks about and by the way don't you see the same flavor here like, what do you think these mice are doing here? Is this going to clear it for me or no? Hello? Hello, camera. That's actually a pretty good camera. It's still not listening to me. And I put it in all focus. Oh, there you go. What do you think? What do you think they're doing? Mice. They're taking what they can take with them. Don't you see? This is almost the same. And you're going back to that. Why? 
you need to get it and i think this is like pretty much what summarizes only you'll have to see the rest again the widow yes maybe you're feeling a little bit like a victim yourself you're feeling oh geez i lost and yes you did but this you're supposed to acknowledge this and move on about this happy family <laughs> we have another widower you're like you're sad about something that didn't happen the soulmate this person really really made you happy but about this commitment it was a loss of commitment just as i told you and who is this person huh. i'm telling you this is a wife this is somebody who is established this is somebody who's in a relationship queen of pentacles is somebody who is really um she kind of gets her stuff and she's not wasting time this is not to say that she's not going to go here and say okay you know what i would love to hear a few beautiful things about me it is good for my ego so you guys are going through a really weird period where you really don't know who to believe other people or your lying guys believe your lying guys believe that people are taking away from you and if they do you need to put the rules down you need to kind of figure out because you'll never come to the soulmate and you want to really come to that soulmate in this marriage and this kind of union it's kind of really important to you but you cannot get there without a commitment you cannot get there if this person is involved with somebody else so keep that in mind so gemini before we move forward just to let you know this is just a general reading this might not be your situation whatsoever and if you want your reading you can contact me at cattera.ca but for the finish of this reading we are going to do a one card that is sort of like going to give you direction in 2018 okay so let's see gemini for 2018 gemini for 2018 one card Gemini for 2018. Gemini for 2018. Give them a hint. Did something flick? Yep. Yang. Wow. It is a number one, two. So, this is kind of really good energy. It's going to be waking somebody up from, from sleep. So let me find one so I can read it for you. Here we go. Young represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifesting through desire and concrete form. Now, it is the perfect time to act for you can easily build monument and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and it's a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the sharper shaper, pardon me, you're the shaper of your destiny now. I actually am reading really well in the dark. I know it doesn't look in the camera right now, but it's actually quite dark in here. And... Um, so this is really good guys i think you're going to learn this message like you're going through two weeks of what the heck and it looks like you kind of like are all these people saying you know what i'm going to leave all this kind of like stuff back in the 2017. and let me give you a relationship message that is connecting to this card this is also by the way masculine principle it's kind of like getting a little bit more aggressive it's kind of like going toward what you really want as far as relationship, this is what it says. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. It matters in matters of the heart. There is movement toward your highest good. So go for it with assurance. Passion is in the air. And now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. So Gemini, if you were passive and waiting for somebody to kind of come to you and read poetry, this is a time for it a little bit more aggressive. Poetry is very yin. This is asking for young energy. Young energy is like something that you should like. Get on a call, like say, hey, what are you doing? 
I have a plan. Whether you're male or female, this is like how 2018 is going to work for you. So my dear Gemini, I wish you really happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I don't know which one you're celebrating and I hope to see you in the new year. And in the meantime, as I said, please contact me on my website, www.ketera.ca. Until our 2018 date, I love you. Bye.